everyone and welcome back to Tropical Marine Centre. Colette here. Today in Out of the Office we are down at Finest Aquatics. So we're going to be going inside, I'll be showing you the whole of the store at this very moment and then we're also going to be talking to the owner Adam, we're going to be asking him some questions on how he started in the hobby and also how he's got to where he is now. I'll be taking you into the distribution centre showing you clips of that and also we'll be talking to the manager of the freshwater section and the manager of the marine section. Stay tuned if you want to see all of that and thank you very much as always for watching. Let's dive into the world of aquatic wonders as we explore what finest aquatics have purchased while they were shopping with us here at Tropical Marine Centre. As you can see, they have chosen a variety of fish here today and one special mention has to go out to the one-of-the-kind hybrid tang. Now this tang is said to be a cross between a mustard tang and a convict tang and has come all the way from the coast of Java. This was a special find for Tropical Marine Centre to import into the UK as it's a first for us. Now let's bag this order up and get to the shop ready to show you all that they have to offer at Finest Aquatics. Situated in the heart of Widnes, Finest Aquatics has become the go-to destination for fish keepers all over and it's not hard to see why. Here at Finest Aquatics it's not just about the fish, they have a fantastic range of aquarium equipment and supplies. From filters to lighting, plants and decorations you can find everything you need to create the perfect aquatic habitat. The first thing that you walk into is a range of marine aquariums on offer and the TMC Reef Habitat 90 is on display here with our Eco Reef rockwork and sand on show inside. They have a huge array of different brands on offer in the marine section which is the first room that you enter when you come into the shop. If they don't have it on the shelves though it's definitely worth asking as they're more than likely to have it in the warehouse next door. If you're hungry or thirsty while you're there, they do have two vending machines available with some sweets, crisps and chocolates in one and hot drinks in the other. They sell TMC products from pumps to UVs and also our frozen foods, along with an array of Tropic Marin and Salifert supplements and elements. Now as we step inside the next room you're immediately greeted by the stunning array of coral trays filled with a colourful assortment of different species from LPS, SPS, NPS and soft corals. It's a true underwater wonderland in here. Around the coral trays there is a huge selection of marine fish and invertebrates on offer from beginner to intermediary options. I had the pleasure of chatting with some of the incredibly knowledgeable and friendly staff who are always eager to share their passion and expertise with customers. It's clear that they love what they do. Let's hand over the mic to Mike. <laughs> so I'm here with Mike. Mike, do you want to tell us what you do here at Finest Aquatic? Yeah, so I'm uh, manage the marine department uh, here at Finest. Obviously we've got the traps as well. and. Uh, Josh manages that, so yeah, I'm downstairs with the Marines, I've got Taylor and Jay, and we also get some help from uh, Steve at the other shop as well occasionally, but yeah, my role is basically looking after the livestock in the Marine section, uh, ordering stuff, doing trips to TMC like I've done today, yeah. <laughs> uh, which is the probably the most fun part, yeah, and obviously um, everything else that goes along with that, all the fish husbandry, mm -hmm. replenishing the shelves with dry goods, yeah, yeah a bit of everything really, keeps you on your toes. That's good to hear. So, what's your favourite part of working at Finest Aquatics? Uh, it probably is just working with the animals, basically, yeah, yeah seeing the rare stuff come in, seeing mm -hmm. the nice corals, yeah, unboxing a, a shipment or, or doing a trip to TMC yeah. is definitely the highlight, the yeah. yeah. So, did you know Adam before you started here? I did, yeah. So, I actually used to be Adam's boss many years ago, yeah, so when I started at <laughs> Roll <Maiden> switch! <laughs> Yeah, so uh, many years ago, Maid and Ed, um, Adam came on as a like, work experience <laughs> and he was so good that we offered him like a part-time job at weekends, right. which he again was really great at. Yeah, so we worked together for a good few years there at Maid and Ed and then yeah, our paths have crossed again, yeah. That's brilliant. Okay, well that's great to know. <laughs> so Mike, where did you start out in the industry? Uh, so I've always had an interest in fish really, right. um, my dad took me fishing when I was real young, um, 
and then yeah, just sort of a few jobs growing up, and then an opportunity at a shop came up. Right. So I worked there, so maiden ed, did five years in a maiden ed, mm -hmm. and then I did three years at TMC Manchester. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been at a, a couple of other shops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just. Uh, yeah, just always had an interest in fishing. And now you're massive in fishing as well, aren't you? On the yeah. other side of things as a hobby. Yeah. Absolutely love it. I love seeing all your different photos with your big fish. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, some people joke that it's the same fish and I'm just taking it around to different oh. because saying that the fish look the same all the time. And But yeah, no. Uh, massively into my cat fishing, so yeah, right. if I'm not in here around fish, then <laughs> I'm sat by a lake. Hopefully, to catch none cat. of the yeah. viewers are those people. Yeah. <laughs> That's brilliant. Okay, well, thank you very much, Mike, for coming yeah, on no the today and telling us a little bit about the backstory of how you started out in the industry. Oh, appreciate you. it. Thank you. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced aquarist, Finest Aquatics has something for everyone. They offer a wide selection of fish species from the most exotic to the more common ones. You'll be amazed at the variety they have in stock. Now to take a look at the incredible freshwater section upstairs. Let's take some time to chat with Josh, the manager of this area. Right, Josh. So yeah. You manage the tropical and freshwater section here at Pinus Atlantic. So, do you want to tell us where it started? Yeah, so with, when I come on board, the uh, tropical section was quite small. Mm -hmm. was, uh, Pinus kind of settled a lot on this uh, marine side. That was right. our big thing, especially with uh, that takeover graphic. That was yeah. kind of our big part of it. I'd have wanted to kind of show both fruits, like yeah. with the fresh and the marine side, the hobby, mm -hmm. and it was best like it. So right. So you brought me a few of the on board, mm -hmm. so it's like, not being there, you get to like, experience fresh water. Yeah. Um, so it's like, shop assistance and such, so it kind of, uh, pushed me that way. Right. So, did you come on board when this, when, when the upstairs was built? Yeah, so upstairs was built. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't looking like it is today. We right. had a lot of investment and additions, things like that added since I started to so the fresh water section. Yeah. Um, we've pushed a lot more on the fish side and on the livestock side. Uh, we work a lot as well as on the plant system yeah. to start with. Yeah. Uh, we've definitely expanded on the like, fish range, selection of fish. Especially like the wild stuff. Right. Like the wild side, as well as just like the red stuff. Oh, that's exciting. Yes, we have slow, beautiful stuff. So, were you a hobbyist before having the plant side or just kept pots before? Mainly with the fish side. Yeah. Mainly a lot of like uh, the wild stuff. Oh, okay. Right. The plant side of it. I kind of started by starting on work experience and things like a lot of people. It's truly inspiring to see how they're dedicated to the well-being of the fish and ensuring that customers have access to quality products and expert advice. Now to talk to the owner, Adam, of this store. 
So we're here today at Finest with Adam. This is the owner of Finest Aquatics. Adam, do you want to tell us how you started out in the hobby to where you are now? Absolutely glad to yeah. So um, it's been about 12 years ago now. Um, so I was 30 this year. Um, so I started quite young in the hobby. Um, used to keep freshwater fish. Okay, yeah. uh, I know a lot of people start you know, in the hobby that way. Definitely. Um, <laughs> I then moved on to salt water, um, mainly sort of fish only. Uh, I'll be honest, marine right. fish is kind of my thing. Yeah. Um, what age were you when you did your salt water start? I started salt water 17. Oh, okay. Yeah, so nice. yeah, quite young. Yeah. Um, I also sort of um, had a weekend job as well, um, right. working alongside Mike. Um, so we right, were in the we shop. talked about uh, that a little bit, so yeah. Yeah, so we were well. doing, um, it was a busy shop and um, like to serve customers you know, with salt water fish there as well. Yeah. It just sort of went from there really, yeah, so it was good. It was so you good. kept salt water fish at home, so you did mainly salt uh, fish only, sorry. Yeah. Did you like corals or did you introduce I did, it to... was sort of like a budget thing to be honest yeah. with you. Yeah, it was, at 17. Um, yeah, the lighting wasn't sort of great on my tank and things, right. so I was sort of a little bit limited to what I could do, <laughs> but um, I do like sort of big adult angel fish and you know, yeah. big tanks. It was a seven foot tank that I had, you see, so it was a, yeah. It's not going to... It was a big tank, but yeah, there was a not lot. A Budget that. No, no. <laughs> it all went on the tank. I couldn't, I couldn't light it. It all probably. went on the tank. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brilliant. And then now, how did we get to where you are? Yeah. Shot? So I've always wanted to sort of my own business. Okay. Um, I've done um, a company called Finest Filters, where yeah. we have our own sort of filter media and things like that from a, from a young age as well. Yeah. Uh, so that's been 12 years as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. And you started out with the filter floss, wasn't it? Yeah, that's so right. Yep. We're focusing on that right now and then like focus out because yep. it's huge the roles of the filter floss yeah, inside that. We do certainly get amazing. through a fair bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we do. Um, so that was where you started this business twelve years ago and then was the warehouse here then? No, so I've only actually had this warehouse five years now. Right. Uh, so it did start at home um, and then I had a smaller uh, warehouse before this right. and I started moved here about five years ago. Okay and then it was just that side of the distribution centre when you started yeah, here and so then this opened when? This is just coming up for two, just over two years now yeah uh, that's been a it's been a long time um, it's, gone, it's gone well for us though you yeah. know since we've opened and yeah. uh, we've really uh, really managed to um, put ourselves on the graph I think so you it's good. You hit the ground running definitely. I remember it coming up and I was like ah no way it's, it's not that far away. It was yeah. actually closer than my local at the time. It's beautiful. Yeah. Oh cheers. <laughs> yeah, I always knew there was a good sort of area for it here yeah. to be fair so yeah, something that I wanted to wait um, make sure it was done right you know instead of just yeah. rushing in and you know half hearted and shop type of thing I wanted to wait yeah. to do it right. And then, <laughs> It yeah, doesn't look like a half-hearted shop oh, in cheers, any way, thank you. Oh, cheers. So you obviously opened this and then now you've taken over Kraken Corals? Yeah, so that that's, just, recent... that's just been over 12 months now. Yeah, yeah so it was August uh, last year. Right. Uh, so 23, uh, 22, sorry, we're in 23. Um, so we run all the online from here, from mm -hmm. our main sort of warehouse here, so we keep all our stock here. Yeah. Uh, but as you know, the retail store is still yeah. trading and that's doing well as well. Yeah. So. Gorgeous. Yeah, if anyone's good. not seen that, look back at the previous video um, on YouTube because you'll be able to see Crackna, which was the event that we went to yeah. um, a few weeks ago. So yeah, thank you very much, Adam, oh, for talking no to me and going you. over your backstory. I appreciate it. Oh, cheers. Thanks, Colette. So that's everything from me today at Tropical Marine Centre. Thank you to everyone that's watched this video right until the very end. Now, don't forget if you are wanting to watch out for future videos, you can click that notification bell above or the subscribe button if you haven't already. Now, if you are wanting to purchase anything from Tropical Marine Centre, down in the description bar, we have posted the link to our website where you can check your local TMC stockist or you can go on to Finest Aquatics and order online and they'll be able to post out. Thank you everyone for watching today and I'll see you in the next one.